Hi, my name is Michael Garfield. I'm a performing singer-songwriter, and I'm here to talk to you about my love affair with the LR Bags Venue DI. This handy little box has saved me a tremendous amount of trouble in my stage setup uh, for a number of reasons, and I'm going to tell you all about them right now. So, the first thing is that I play a Martin D35, which is a famously bass-heavy guitar, and I also run it through a looping pedal with a separate vocal line going into that same pedal and only one output going to the sound man. And uh, that means that in the, in the last few years, um, I get yelled at by sound men on a pretty regular basis for not running two separate lines because they have to mix vocals and guitar in the same channel. And... Uh, as someone who's run sound before, I understand that that's a serious issue. But now uh, what I can do is just tell the sound guy to mix for voice. And then once he's got a suitable signal running through the monitors, then I can go back and do a stage sub mix on the guitar. Uh, that would have been helpful even if I weren't doing that because uh, so many different guitars, so many different EQ setups and I personally don't like to always have to rely on the guy at the board um, for a hundred percent of that. Uh, it's been a traumatizing few years of bass feedback, um, but not anymore. Another great thing is that my playing style varies between very soft percussive work on the fretboard and finger style stuff, and then much more aggressive uh, plectrum strumming, and so. That was always an issue because I either played the loud songs quietly or I played the soft songs loud and I never had a compressor. Um, now I don't need to worry about that because I'm able to maintain dynamic range within a song um, and just hit the boost button with the adjustable boost if I'm going to go from a loud song to a soft song or if I've laid down a lot of loops. I can hit the boost for my solo and I can rest assured knowing that what I do is not going to get buried in the rest of the loops, which is especially a problem when you're looping the same instrument over and over and over again. The, you know, whatever you, the last th few things you throw on top are bound to get lost, but I don't worry about that anymore. And another thing that I always used to struggle with is that I had a headboard mounted vibration sensing tuner. It had a loose screw in it somewhere. I could never quite fix. And so um, either I took it off and left it on the ground during the songs, or I left it on my guitar and it would rattle while I played and it would get picked up through the pickup, which is uh, atrocious. And so <laughs> I don't have to worry about that anymore, nor do I have to worry about having to put people through the the awkward sounds of my tuning uh, while I play. Um, it's a very easy to read display, even in low stage light. I've had no trouble with it. Um, it's a fantastic unit. So there you have it. Those are the things that I love most about this. Um, let me show you what it sounds like. Here we are with my Martin D35 my LR Bags M1 Active Sound Hole pickup, which for its price is the best pickup that I've ever seen uh, for all of the percussive stuff that I do to the guitar. It's the cheapest pickup I've found that, that does that without a intensive installation, and uh, I can still get weird electric feedback effects from the magnetic coils in it. It's a lot of fun. And I'm running it through the Venue DI. And this is what it sounds like.
So thanks, LR Bags, for creating such a fabulous little box.